Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Aries Sun Moon and as well rising monthly tarot reading December 2019. And uh, bear with me just a, a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the cards. And we can jump uh, right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month is going to be the uh, Emperor, followed by the next one here, which sits as a challenges that you will have to overcome here, that will be the High Priestess. Then the third card, which represents the intentions or how you should tackle things throughout the months of December. The best way to tackle things throughout the months of December is going to be the Six of uh, Pentacles. The fourth card stands as a lesson. What kind of a lesson you are going to learn? What, 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 what is going to be the points of all that throughout the month of um, December? We do have the Princess of Swords or in the traditional deck is known as the Page of Swords. And then the last one here, which stands as a uh, uh, energies that are to support you and a fantastic card for you, Aries, that will be the Nine of Cups. All right. Fantastic. So um, the topic here, which is the Emperor, is going to be catalyzed with the Seven of Pentacles. So we do have a um, active neutrals. And what those two cards are pointing, it is that certain, um, how can I say it, certain enterprises and certain situations that you are kind of overwhelmed with, you are suddenly going to decide in favor of others. Or in other words, you are going to... Um, assess a certain situations that they simply doesn't worth it, that they just consumes time, effort and uh, resources, if you will, and instead that you can reprioritize those things into different structures. So that being said, um, you are to attend to more substantial, how can I say it, a substantial and more profitable enterprises throughout the month of December and ultimately at the end ending up in a very very good place here a, a place of exerting big structure in uh, in your environment and in your life in general and on top of it here it does look like that you are not going to waste any time and um, instead you're going to do whatever it takes to present yourself reliable at your career and at your relationship okay to system Systemize everything around you so you know how everything stands and uh, therefore as you systemize and structure everything around you that will allow you to um, what can I say to face the ups and downs that the life brings with much more ease as a matter of fact is going to be a, a piece of cake and on top of it uh, as you liberate from those futile enterprises you are going to um, have more time for yourself and for the things that you do enjoy. So what is going to be the challenge here? We do have the High Priestess and it is accompanied with the Five of Pentacles. So the challenge itself, first of all, these are a passive 
friends and the challenge itself it is um how can i describe it um, I will try to give you an example. You are afraid to touch something so you don't break it. It is like this, all right? So you may be afraid to jump into certain enterprise so you don't break it, all right? Or uh, the other way how these cards could be interpreted is that you may be afraid to jump in certain enterprise because you think um, or you kind of have that um, uh, celluloid understanding that you are not worthy for it or that you cannot handle it or these kind of stuff in other words you may feel a bit insecure in regards to the enterprises that you will have to jump into that the emperor points in you know leaving one leaving those that are not going to breed any results for you and jumping into those that are going to serve you big, uh, big favors and are going to provide you with a substantial resources and benefits as well but the point is once again with the challenge that you may be a bit afraid not to ruin the things over so in other words you have to overcome your insecurity and have a little bit more courage and being stir being flux rather than sitting into one place the other card here which stands for the um, intentions what is the best way how you can tackle with all that? Uh, this is going to be the, the Six of Pentacles and it is accompanied with the Nine of Pentacles. And that is great uh, because first of all, we do have a, a passive supporters. What those passive supporters are pointing, it is that throughout the current of the unfoldment of everything that you are going to deal with there are going to be opportunities for you to jump into development uh, relationship development career development you name it it's kind of like you will have it, it, it take it that way it's like you are fishing and you are catching up a big fish over and over again it is just you know your cord needs to be strong and your cord plays the role of your security all right so you have to be very, very confident. Additionally to that, uh, those um, enterprises, they are only for you to take on. I mean, you can bring some friends into the matter, you know, you can use some connections, but ultimately at the end of the day, if you don't put the efforts behind, if you don't kind of like lift your pinky finger, if you will, nothing will be able to happen. Therefore, you know, you have to take all of it on your own. And at the end of the day, you will see that the results or rather like the victory that you are to achieve throughout all that is going to be sweeter than ever. But but nonetheless, here, um, if we have to interpret those cards as what you have to go for, it's about stability and money, all right? Stability career-wise and relationship-wise and jumping for a bigger monetary success as well. Jumping and leaping into a career development. So uh, the other card here will show us uh, why is this all happening, all right? We do have all the lesson that you are to learn and we do have the princess of swords oh it's prince so that is the knight of swords and it is accompanied with the tower card and uh, now that makes sense so we do have an, an active friends here and it looks like that uh, the, this month is going to be very how do you say it when the month is a turning point into your life one or the other way simply said and or simply put here the lesson that you are going to learn is, is that you are far stronger than you think you are those two cards here are pointing to a flawless crisis management it's kind of like diminishing a unpleasant circumstances or unpleasant symptoms that one or another situation in inflicts upon uh, upon one's life not to mention that it also points to a determination to save what it what you find uh important what you find substantial for yourself you find your marriage important well lesson learned you will be able to save it with a, a very acutely taken decisions 
that are going to be consulted with your emotions. As a matter of fact, that is another lesson that you need to learn, that whatever you decide for, it always needs to be consulted with your uh, with your emotions as well. But non nonetheless, here, um, the biggest thing that you're going to learn, it is that you need to use your intellectual strength, intellectual ability, sharp mind, and your determination also. So you can expect that throughout the month of December, whatever happens to you, uh, Aries, uh, this is going to improve your self-esteem, okay, and your confidence as well, big time. And at the end of the day, you're going to find yourself ready to do whatever it takes in order to stabilize yourself or uh, rather like to achieve uh, your goal, if you will. The last card, it's about the energies that are to support you. We do have the Nine of Cups. Oh, wow, look at that. And it is accompanied with the Three of Pentacles. Oh my God. So uh, those two cards here, energy-wise, are pointing that the fortune is going to lay on top of you with uh, with full fistfuls that it has. So that, therefore, whatever you touch, it's simply going to happen. So whatever you take on to do, it's, it's going to produce results. There is no other way to say it. But you need to know that those energies are going to be only for the month of December. So they are going to short, they are short-lived. But however, um, you will have the chance not, not only to achieve a, a substantial milestones throughout the month of December, but as well to do what it is needed in order to secure those milestones so you can traverse the, the short-term success or short-term happiness into a, a long-term happiness. How? As you negotiate your way about it. All right, negotiate your way with your wife or a husband, negotiate your way with your uh, supervisors or with your boss, you know, ask for your support through your development here and uh, whatever the problem cannot be resolved uh, easily, you can always resort to meaningful conversations and, um, you know, b basically convincing people in your own point of view. Uh, but nonetheless, those energies, guys, are going to make you feel the fullness of life. Exhilaration, content, and glee as well throughout the month of December. So that being said, there is this was your monthly tarot reading December 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.